What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Reaction Box. Now, today we're going to be looking at something a little bit different. I told y'all to start requesting different stuff, and lo and behold, y'all did. I don't know what y'all be doing at home, man, and I don't know what y'all like watching. But I'm here to react to it, so I'm going to give you a genuine reaction to this, man. The video, y'all probably already can see it, man. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, the video I'm about to look at is titled Cop Forgets Body Cam is Rolling. Cop Forgets Body Cam is Rolling. Hey, man, I ain't going to hold y'all. Let's jump right into it and see what's happening. Yo, sir. Hey, how you doing, officers? Yeah, uh, can I get your names and badge numbers? Sure, can I get any Oh, uh, no. Okay. Excuse me. Oh. Is, uh, have you not heard that before? Have you, uh, Tibbets. Officer Tibbets. Tibbets. Um, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, policies, they don't, they don't supersede law, just so you know that. This is not gonna happen, no big deal. Okay, we'll see. We will no, see. I'm telling you. We will see. I need to find out who you are now. Okay, lower your voice. I don't know why I'm going. just saying. You don't understand that? Touch me. You don't leave until we say so. Don't touch me. Nobody's scared of you, Tibbs. I know it's supposed to be scared of me. I'm talking over you because you keep yapping. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. Today's wow. video features a Long Island audit and an officer who may have unwittingly testified against himself for police brutality and possibly oh. murder. In the end, you will have to decide for yourself. On the 9th of June, Long Island Audit was filming at the Danbury, Connecticut Public Library when he was stopped by security and ordered to shut off his camera. Hey, how you doing? I'm alright, how are you? It's not allowed here to take your photos or videos, okay? You need the permission from the administration and all that. So it's not allowed to take photos or videos here? Sorry, no. Wait, who do I need permission from? Uh, administration. From administration? Yeah, yeah uh, I don't think that's the case. In Soviet Russia, some public places demand permits, hmm. such as the Red Square, airports, and libraries. In the United States, such laws don't exist and are in fact prevented from becoming law by the First Amendment's right to free press. Many libraries and other public facilities have policies that require one to ask permission to film. However, policy does not trump law. After a short back and forth, the guard calls the Danbury Police Department and multiple officers arrive on scene. Sir. Hey, how you doing, officers? Yeah, I'm can I get your names and badge numbers? Sure, can I have your ID, please? Uh, no, you, you can't. Excuse me. Is, oh. Have you not heard that before? I, I've heard it plenty of times. It's just I'm surprised because, well, my name and my badge number is right here. Uh huh. Okay, you T see it? Tibbets? Yep. Uh, actually, zero. The pen is blocking the, the number. Oh. 640? Yep. And Dennis 647. So what I'm doing here is a First Amendment protected activity. I'm, I'm recording. I know you don't care, sir, but listen, it, you know, if you violate that in any way, interfere with that. You see what I'm saying, man? The difference nowadays and 20 years ago is the cameras. Like, they so terrified of the camera. If he didn't have that camera, they would have probably jacked him up immediately, put him on the ground. Uh, police. I mean, it would have been bad. It would have been terrible. I could tell the way to do with the American flag <laughs> bandana on acting. You know what I'm saying? He's already, like, ready. He ready to do something. Like, I already know, man. Like, you could just see it in the way he acting. Look how he got his hand set, and he just, he just waiting on it. Like, man, let's see how this play out. I'm not you violating it. They asked you to leave. Here. Yeah, but that, that they, they can't ask me to leave. This is a public library. Can I get can I speak to a supervisor, please? After immediately showing their disdain for the public and our civil rights, Long Island Audit requests a supervisor, hoping that they would have a better attitude and understanding of what they swore an oath to do. Hey Dennis, can I please speak to a supervisor? I would appreciate that. Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah, there it is. Where is that Oh you guys got body cameras, great. Okay, so maybe a supervisor will be better. But I'm asking you for two. Whoa. Whoa. See, he should be automatically terminated. The guy that just said that. Automatically terminated. You got four cops here. Why you need a supervisor? What you mean why I need a supervisor? I, he asked for one. This is crazy, man. Already. This goes to show, man, this is everywhere. Not just in the United States, but it's everywhere. This is crazy, man. Great. Maybe a supervisor will be better. But I'm asking you for a supervisor. Oh, wow. 
Okay. You can't turn a constitution protected activity into a crime, sir. Unfortunately, as much as you'd like to. Even it's not a crime, it's pretty good, sir. I'm going to request a supervisor again. In a minute. I'm going to request one. I'm pretty sure your policy, if I go home and look at your policy, and uh, I'm pretty sure if I request a supervisor, you, you guys should call one, correct? So um, I'm going to request a supervisor again. I would appreciate if you guys can get a supervisor down here. You don't really scared right now. Yeah, no, I'm just requesting a supervisor just for... In a minute. Because you, you guys are a little bit hostile. I can see, no, I can see, I can see, the, I can see the tyrant in you, Utter. Oh, yeah. You're a real tyrant. Yeah. <laughs> I can I see it in your eyes. In law enforcement experience. Wow. I'm yeah. still here, but I'm a tyrant. You are. 24 years ago, when cameras weren't as accessible, it's possible that Long Island Audit would have had his teeth kicked in or would possibly right. be dead. More on right. that later. Mr. See, I just said that, man. I just said that, you two. If it wasn't for the cameraman, that dude would have been down. He would have been down. For real. It skims through the library policy, searching for a reason to remove Long Island Audit for filming. Hey, uh, Tibbets. Officer Tibbets. Tibbets, um, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, policies, they don't, they don't supersede law, just so you know that, okay? I know that. It goes law, so it's the Constitution, law, and policies, okay? I have no idea. Okay. And I have, I have a constitutional right to be filming here, so. Okay. Great, so I'm just letting you know. Well, I'm letting you know because you don't you don't know the Constitution, obviously. So. Professionalism. Dude, why are you gotta be such a tyrant? <laughs> See what I'm doing there? Acting like a child? Yeah. So we're <laughs> Acting like a child. Did you get permission when you post that video of these people? Don't eat it. They're in public. Don't eat it. Yeah, they're in public. Don't eat it. See, you're learning something here today, man. Come on. This is not gonna end well with video. Okay, we'll see. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Threats. He just threatened that man. Like, wait a minute. Y'all hear that? He just threatened him. He just said, this is not going to end well with you. I want you to know that. Like, wait a minute, man. Hold on. See. Okay, we'll see. Oh, wow. I'm not scared of you. You're not supposed to be scared of this. Oh, wow. Great. Great. Because the mere, listen, I'm like, I'm like, listen, before you guys even arrest me, the thing that's going to happen is you have to tell me to leave, right? No, 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 so, no, 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 we, no, no, this is, we're in charge here, okay? Yeah, you're going to tell me to leave, and then you're going to have to give us an ID. If you don't give us an ID, not gonna happen. Or, then you're going to have to go not going to happen. I'm not breaking any laws. This, you, you're breaking their law, and then you can find out who you are, <laughs> they're so gonna you love, come back. They're going to love that you said that. It's trespassing. To get my ID, you need reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a, that I've committed a crime. You have. I've co what crime have I committed? If you're not going to give me your ID, you're interfering with the duties of a police officer. Eventually, a supervisor arrives on wow. the scene. Wow. Hey, Sergeant, how are you doing? Good. Nice to meet you, sir. Hey, sir. So, so, uh, just can I just say, Sergeant Dickinson? Yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay, so they would like you to leave. Okay, sorry. You're fine. Right. So, so okay. You well, how about you mind your business? Are you gonna leave? Hold on. Are you gonna leave? Yes or no? Uh, am I? If, when, if I don't leave, will I be arrested? Yes, you're trespassing. Okay, I'm gonna leave then, because you're you're under threat of arrest. That's fine. I'm yes. under threat of arrest. I'm going to leave. And no, you do not. Hold on. Well, don't touch me. Hold on. Don't touch me. No, you don't. No, you don't. I have not committed a crime. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. Listen, man, you're, go. you're, you're touching me. They asked you to leave. They asked you to leave. And I'm leaving to leave. under threat of arrest. Okay. You're refusing to provide identification to us. We need because to Because I haven't committed a crime. Back here because they don't want you coming see, back. See, see, now the one, Tibbins, he getting real cocky now because he think, because a sergeant showed up, that he can get more hostile with him. He, his voice don't came up. They putting their hands on this dude. He just told him that he's leaving because they threatened him with arrest. You know what I'm saying? So I'm leaving now. I don't have to give you my ID because I'm in a public place. I haven't committed a crime. Man, this is crazy to me. You're refusing to provide identification to us. We need because I haven't committed a crime. Back here because they don't want you coming back here. Sergeant, I haven't committed a sergeant. I haven't committed a crime. Unless I've committed a crime, I don't have to show you ID, sir. You just told you just told they me right now. They absolutely refused. That's I'm not. That's that's not. I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Okay. They said that. They asked you to leave. This is a public. This is a public building. That is a crime. This is a public building. That's great, but they asked you to leave and you wouldn't leave. No, no, no. It's not the same thing, sir. Because it's a public building. 
It's, 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 tax, it's taxpayer funding. This is their building. They make the rules here. So, are you, Sergeant, Sergeant, Dickens, Sergeant Dickinson, if I don't give you ID, are you going to arrest me? Well, so we're trying to... Because like, I'm going to leave because you just gave me a lawful... You just said gave me an unlawful order that was under threat of arrest, well, this time, which I'll be filing complaints. This well, what I'm trying to figure out is what happened before. If they asked you to leave beforehand, mm -hmm. before I talked to you, I'm not... I'm, I'm, I'm actually committing a crime. But who, who... Yeah, but I'm not... They didn't... I'm not saying that they asked me to leave. Man. Okay. Well, okay. Well, Did you, you ask me to leave? Yeah, you don't know that. Yeah, okay. He asked you to leave. Okay, so all I'm asking... Listen, all I'm... This okay, what did he say? Your we have to Sergeant. Sergeant, can I have a conversation with okay, you? Okay, he said he wouldn't can, can we de-escalate and have a conversation, please? All right. So what I'm doing here is I'm press, right? I'm working on a story in the public library. I'm, I'm engaging in a First Amendment protected activity, a constitutionally protected activity. I do this quite often. I know for a fact that policy does not trump the law. You can't make a, like, for example, you can't make a policy that says no fat guy is allowed in the library because that would be discriminating, uh, right? But so, that's more of the civil side. Of the exactly. And this is the civil side. You'll be violating my civil, just by telling me to leave under threat of arrest, you're violating my civil rights. Well, I'm, we're, we're not violating your civil rights. They're I'm talking to the sergeant. And I'm talking to the right, sergeant. And, and I want to have a good, I, I'm right talking here. to the sergeant. And I want to have a, and I want to have a good. It, honestly, sir, it's irrelevant to me. Read. No, 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 it's fine. This is from, this is from, because it is... But policy doesn't state. trump law, sir. That's all I'm trying to tell you. I, all I'm trying to tell you, and unless I've had committed a crime, you cannot get my idea, sir. That's, what, that's all I'm saying. Don't touch me again, man. Seriously. Listen, we tell you not to go nowhere, you don't go nowhere. You don't understand? Talk, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Do you understand that, though? I'm telling you. Do you understand I'm telling that you. you not to touch me? Do you understand don't that? Don't touch me. You don't leave until we say so. Don't touch me. Oh, wow. Nobody scare you, to this. Uh, no one's supposed to be scared <laughs> me. I'm talking over you because you keep yapping. The supervisor interprets the library's policy and eventually, under the threat of arrest, Long Island Audit felt compelled to identify himself. Under threat of arrest, I will provide you with my ID. I'm going to go in my pocket now and grab my ID. Okay. We're getting a complaint on you, and unfortunately, even though you've been reasonable, you still violated my rights here today, sir, and I'll be finding a complaint on you. Complaint on you. Everybody's getting a complaint, and I'll be filing a lawsuit with the city because this year... You get a complaint. Yeah, you get everybody's getting a complaint. You're a real bozo, man. You're a real bozo. Oh, wow. You're a real bozo. Oh, wow. You're a real bozo. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Come, man. I swore that dude right there. See, man, that's what I'm talking about. It ain't got nothing to do. Man, mm, this is crazy right here, man. The police is just, they out of control, man. They, they, not all cops, but cops like this right here. Man, I swear to God, man. Psh. Bozo, man. You're a real bozo. Uh, you're a bozo? You're a real bozo. You guys are both bozos and tyrants. You know that? I got freedom. I got free. You're gonna limit my speech. You're gonna limit my speech now. They're not. They're not acting professional at all. They don't listen to you. You told him to shut up like three times, and you don't listen. You don't listen. You said let him handle it. Let the big. Let the big boys talk. There you go. You're a tyrant. That's why. You're a tyrant. I'm not harassing anybody. I'm gathering. I'm a journalist gathering content for a story. Get a real job. Yeah. Oh wow. Protect and serve your public servant. Mm -hmm. Learn your place. Yeah. Okay. Learn your place. Uh, I'm asking you too. Right. Right. Listen, Listen, I am in my lane. Listen. I'm a free citizen here. Oh wow. They been... He told him to stay in his lane. Like, this dude ain't broke no law. Like they they they, they violate his civil rights like a month. Hey man. I, I tell you what, though, I'm really learning something here, too. I'm paying attention to what he's saying to them. I'm, I take everything in. He's smart. They won't be able to touch him because he's he's very smart. He knows what he knew this was going to happen before he even went there and they was going to come and do this. So he already got everything lined up for them. And the sergeant knows he's telling the truth. He knows it. he just want to de-escalate. He's praying that he just voluntarily leaves because he know he can't make him leave. This is crazy. Right. Listen, listen, I am in my no, lane. I'm a free citizen here. They haven't been treating me with respect since I got here. They haven't been treating me with respect since I got here, sir. So the respect, the respect, the, the respect has gone out the window already. I have a free, I have freedom of speech to say whatever I want to the officers. 
Finally, Long Island Audit left the property with the officers in tow. Get out. Where's my trespass? Where's my trespass? Uh, warning. Oh wow. Take care. Take care, Officer Bozo. You gotta go, get off, get off the property. Right? You can absolutely film the outside of the building from the public street if you want. Watch yourself, dude. You didn't have that badge and you touched me? Hmm? If you didn't have that badge and you touched me? What is that? What are you trying to say? Don't touch me. What are you trying to say? Because if you didn't have you touched me. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to leave. You're trying to just leave. Go. Just go. Just go. I'm trying to leave. Just go, because it's not good for you. It's not good for me, it's not good for you. I'm going. 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 I'm not done. You're a douchebag. You're a douchebag. Yep. Is that against the law? I'm going. I'm going off the property right now. The law protects me to do what I do. You understand? It's a constitutionally protected activity. It's constitutionally protected activity. If I went in there and I was acting like an asshole, you're wrong. Don't, don't touch me. Don't you're touch wrong. me. See? Don't touch me. See? See, he way too cocky. Why is he touching his camera? Why is he doing all that? You know what I'm saying? This is crazy, man. Hey, thanks for sending me this one. This is a, this is good. This is crazy, man. Oh man, I can't believe it. Like, wow. There and I was acting like an asshole. You're wrong. Don't, don't touch me. Don't you're touch wrong. me. Don't touch me. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, like, what are you doing hey, for real? Hey, I want to file a complaint against him, Sergeant. He just grabbed my arm. Sergeant. He just grabbed my arm. I want to file a complaint. Sergeant. After the incident, one of the officers forgot to turn off his body cam and caught Officer Utter with 24 years of experience as a beat cop and no promotions to leadership, saying the following. You're wrong. Don't touch me. Don't You're touch wrong. me. Okay, You're touch if he comes back hey, on the property, hey, if he comes back hey, on the property, I want to file a complaint against him. Alright, thanks, sir. I got my arm. Roger. Huh? Is he still here? Yeah. I want to file a complaint. I'll wait for him. He's too far out of the way. I'm telling you right now, fucking five years ago with this shit, he has been on the fucking ground. What? He said five years ago he would have been on the on the ground, like because of the camera, because you didn't, man. Oh my God, man! Listen to me, this right here, man. Mm. Five years ago with this shit, he has been on the fucking ground. Oh my God! He just said twenty years ago he'll be dead. Oh my God, man! I swear to God, this dude right here. Wow! I hope, man. Mm. If they not fire, something wrong. I only want to hear it in the comment section. Neither YouTube. I don't want to hear it in the comment section because this is a fucked up situation. They acting all cocky, talking that crazy shit. They get what they deserve. All five of them. Whatever happened to them motherfuckers right now, they deserve it. Because they, they, they attitude, man. They don't need to be on no law enforcement. Period, man. Period. Fire it immediately. ASAP. For real. Man. Officer Utter may have just unwittingly testified against himself that he has either witnessed or committed the acts he just mentioned. He has served for 24 years, long before there were body cams and the widespread use of cell phone cameras. His comment that five years ago Long Island Audit would be on the ground more than likely is referring to a time where body cams and viral cell right. phone videos right. expose officers from lying about brutalizing innocent citizens, doubling right. down on his mistake. He declared that Long Island Audit would have been dead 20 years ago. The question now becomes, has Officer Utter witnessed or taken part in a homicide 20 plus years ago involving a citizen standing up wow. for civil rights? Or was he being hyperbolic? 
Either way, the captured conversation is evidence that this type of attitude and disgust for the public is their culture. Officer Utter may eventually be punished for this, but only because the audio was captured and released to the public. Outside of this sliver of transparency, this talk has been normalized and is accepted. Long Island Audit has filed formal complaints against the officer seen in this video, and has filed a notice of intent to sue. If you wish to know more about his other cases, and learn updates about this one as they happen, be sure to visit his channel, linked in the description, and let him know I sent you. Thanks for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email That's it or crazy. It via Facebook Messenger. You can also view this and other content on my website. If you're new here, subscribe for future content. If you've been around for a while, remember to like, share, and comment down below of what you think of this interaction. Shirts and other goodies are available at the Teespring store linked below. Channel membership start at just a buck if you'd like to further That's support crazy. the channel and get a slick lack logo. That, me. that was like the most disgusting thing like ever, man. Like ever like i didn't expect all that to happen and what he uttered at the end of the video is not ex man ain't what none of that acceptable that behave that type of behavior right there man is what get people killed honestly i don't even want to elaborate on it you know what i'm saying not like that because i know all cops not bad but those four or five cops right there man nah nah they got to go all of them should be fired asap like Nothing to talk about. All y'all fire. You fire. It. Bye. Like for real. Cause if you you swore to protect and serve, like, and then you out there talking to people like that, oh man, his teeth would have been kicked in. Oh man, twenty years ago he would have been dead. Like, how do you even say something like that? Like, just fucking dummy idiots, man. All of them for real. But I'm done with this, man. Y'all sent me this request. I reacted to it. That's my honest opinion. If it was something different, I would have said it different. But we all just sit here and watch that bullshit. So, hey, man, unbelievable. I just can't believe it. I'm be honest with you. But I'm going to holler at y'all in the next reaction, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think about this video, too. Peace. Shit crazy, man. Oh, my God.